Hey everybody, my name's Tyler. I'm 28 years old. For the past 25 months, I've lived back here in my 2007 Kia Sedona uh, minivan and I've traveled to a lot of places. And uh, yeah, so I'm glad that you've stopped by. Thank you for stopping by. I am out uh, doing some food deliveries for uh, Uber Eats and uh, thought I'd just come on and uh, have a little chat with you guys. And uh, yeah, it's a uh, kind of a muggy gray day here in Austin, Texas. It's a uh, happy first day of March to everybody. It's. 80 degrees and about 100% humidity. So yeah, I'm not used to the humidity. Uh, I grew up in Arizona and yeah, so I don't do so well in this humidity. To me, it's hot. Uh, it's just that real sticky feeling. Yeah, so we're supposed to be having some pretty big thunderstorms coming tomorrow. So anyways, uh, today's topic is about having the courage to go alone. Um, this kind of came on my spirit a couple days ago. I was talking to a good friend of mine and the topic came up and uh, it's one of the most frequently asked topics about my lifestyle is, aren't you afraid of being alone? Aren't you afraid of traveling alone? Don't you get lonely? Those are some common questions that I get from people that I... Uh, talk to about uh, this lifestyle and people that have gotten to know me and you know and questions that I've gotten on Instagram and Facebook and so yeah I thought I'd do a little bit of a video on it uh, before I start please give this video a thumbs up and please please subscribe to my channel that out of everything really helps me and watching it all the way through also really helps me too so I can remember back when I was a kid and it starts, you know, at age like four or five years old where we watch the, you know, the happy, happily ever after movies and, you know, you're supposed to find your, 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 the love of your life and, you know, your perfect partner, whoever that may be, you know, and, and you're supposed to just, you know, kind of live your best life that way and, uh, and there's so much marketing that is done to that and and it's no wonder that the wedding business is a multi-billion dollar industry right um, however I feel in a way in my own opinion and I'd love to hear your opinions on this topic in the comments uh, I feel like we're really built up that, you know, we're not supposed to be independent, that we're always supposed to have a partner. And I feel like for a lot of people that, uh, you know, that pressure kind of can sometimes set us, some of us up for failure. Um, and it doesn't give enough, there's not enough room out there given for people to really find themselves and figure out who they are, what their likes, what their their wants, what their desires and passions are in life. And because it's always centered around finding that perfect partner. And for me, personally, I don't have any real interest in getting married. Um, I had a very negative, uh, I would say, well, it was, it was an abusive relationship. I am, uh, if there's any doubt out there, I am gay. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, it always surprises me when, you know, <laughs> people don't catch on, but sometimes they don't. And, it, you know, so it's I, kind of almost like flattering. <laughs> but uh, I was with a guy uh, when I turned 18. Uh, he was 10 years older than me. I was with him for three and a half years and there was a lot of abuse, emotional and physical. And we met when I was about 16 and a half, but we didn't uh, officially start dating until I was 18. And you know, when you're at that age, 
you know, you're just starting out. You're just discovering who you are and again, what your, your likes, you know, wants and passions are in life. And, you know, it was, it became my relationship, my life became all about him, what he was interested in. Um, I, I, I was really in a sense robbed of my independence um, because it centered around him. I wasn't allowed to have friends. Um, I really wasn't allowed to do anything by myself as far as like going out. Um, yeah, he, he was very controlling and yeah. I bring only this up because of the lessons that I learned from it. And, but my own insecurities of not wanting to be alone. Because a lot of people ask, well, why would you stay around for something like that? Why, when you leave, why, you know, why, 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 why? <laughs> well, the answer is not so simple, right? But one explanation is, is that I was insecure, that my desire of not wanting to be alone and the fear of being alone pushed me really into staying with him for three and a half years. You know, the abuse didn't start right away. It happened about a year in. And then I put up with it for about two, two and a half years. And... Again, it was fear and insecurity. And I've been to a few weddings in my life and I have a lot of, I have friends, not a lot, but I've had friends on Instagram and Facebook and people that I know in person that the wedding becomes, in this, it's not just women. It's also men too, uh, gay and straight. Uh, that they'll set they will get engaged but the wedding is not for two years and for two years that's all they post about on Instagram that's really all they talk about and then the big day comes and then guess what the big day goes it's over it's just a day why build here's the point why build your life up around one big day? And again, you know, the argument is, well, you're going to spend the rest of your life with that person. Well, you don't really know that, right? You may in that time think that you want to. Um, but life happens. And what I've kind of noticed or realized over the years with friends and family that have gotten married... is they haven't done the work on themselves and their partners, excuse me, I got an itch. <laughs> uh, their partners have not done the work on themselves as well. So you have two people combining their lives that have a lot of issues and they have spent no time addressing those issues because they believe that once their lives are connected as one in marriage, that somehow all that will go away, that those insecurities will go away, those faults will go away. Well, the saying is, what is the saying? Wherever you go, there you are. Well, whatever baggage you had before getting married, it's going to come with you. And whatever baggage and issues that your partner had before you guys intertwined your lives, it's going to come. And what I've noticed is within the first year or two of people being married, much like my relationship, those things come out. And sometimes they can be dealt with and handled and, you know, uh, and that sort of thing. But a lot of times it's really what ruins the marriage or the partnership and that's because our society is so pushed on that we need to have another person in our life 
But I have found that not to be true. But after I call it my great escape from my abusive ex, uh, I <laughs> I literally ran. I, I I got away by running out of the door, running out the front door. But I I don't want to really go into all that right now because <laughs> it's too much of a story um, to tell right now. But after I made my escape. The next six years of my life, I did. I, I I had to do a lot of work on myself, but I also discovered so much about myself. But it wasn't until I left. It wasn't until I found that courage in myself in in myself to leave. And it was it was brutally painful. It was hard. And I was very scared. I had nothing when I left. I left with the clothes on my back. And I was able to go back really briefly while he wasn't home one day and salvage just a few of my things because he threw a lot of my stuff away. Um, and yeah, I, I left and I started a new life for myself. Um, and so relating that back to van life, yeah, I think a lot of people are, it, how would I put this? They are, they like the idea, but I think there's a lot of fear and there is fear. I was scared when I first started. I didn't know how I was going to do all of this. And, <laughs> but the other side of that is truly some really great things it can be a really great life but you have to put forth the the effort in yourself to do it um, and it isn't for everybody I want to make that disclaimer this life isn't for everybody um, some people do really well in a partnership um, and I and I want to say like I'm not like anti-marriage. Um, I don't want to come off like that. I just think that it's really pushed and and there's just billions spent on marketing every year for it. And I would like to see people do some more work on themselves and and go out there and and and, and just. Just go it alone and, and see how you like it. So, because there's so much wonder in life. And if we just live our lives in fear, and it, it, see, it can be easy to get comfortable and, and stay that way. I know that because in my own life, I've gotten comfortable and I have stayed that way for long periods of time. But when we push ourselves and we come out of our comfort zones in the pursuit of, you know, new adventures, I think, I think that's a really great thing. And that is where life really starts is when we do that, when we take ourselves out of the comfort zone and put ourselves in an uncomfortable and unfamiliar uh, territory. Uh, and that was really the case for me with van life. It was totally new. You know, I didn't have a terrible amount of time uh, to really uh, investigate the life and everything because, you know, I, I as you guys know, I, I moved out of necessity and it happened really, really fast. So, but I, I did take that leap. And I'm really, really glad that I did. Um, and I encourage you guys to do that. And it doesn't have to be that you just gotta, you know, move out of your apartment and sell your house and, and get a van tomorrow and just go at it right away. But there's little things in life that you can do. And, you know, you don't always have to have somebody with you. Um, for years and years, I've always enjoyed going to the movies by myself. Um, and I remember several times where people be like, you go to the movies by yourself. 
Oh, I would never do that. I wouldn't go into the movie. I wouldn't go out. And I also like to go out to eat by myself, you know? <laughs> and and people be like, I would never go to a restaurant by myself. And I love it. I love it, you know? And I love traveling solo. Um, am I open to the possibility of a partnership? Yeah, absolutely. But I'm also happy being alone. When I was losing my apartment and being evicted I uh, this was now 25 months ago so this all was probably 27 months ago I came across a song that I have absolutely fallen in love with and it's my absolute favorite song and it's called The Greatest Love of All by Whitney Houston and the quote the 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 quote from the lyrics is learning to love yourself is the greatest love of all and when she would sing that I, I would listen to it over and over again while I was in the midst of losing my home and that really is the key is learning to love ourselves because if you don't love yourself how can you possibly love anybody else and I see that so often today with people I see people that don't love themselves you know in their relationships there's so much you know um, neg negativity and turmoil in their relationships and you know if we would as a society step back and really put that inner work take that time and that effort to really work on ourselves you know I think the world would really be a better place because of it um so I encourage you guys I'm gonna wrap this up because I I'm just got to where I need to be um but I encourage you guys to take small steps in your lives you know go to that movie by yourself you know go do something for yourself go treat yourself you know if you're in a you know relationship or maybe you just always wait until you have a friend that will go and do something with you well you don't need to wait you can go and be a friend to yourself and take yourself out go out to eat go see a movie go hiking alone um you know tell somebody that you're going hiking though <laughs> um yeah start you know researching van life if that's what you're interested in and that's what i really encourage you guys to do um because it's really changed my life and you know like i said for three and a half years i i i thought i always needed somebody and even be before that i always thought i needed somebody in my life but I'm my own best friend and I want you to be your own best friend too. So before I go, I'm going to, as I like to do, leave you guys with a quote and I really like this one. So here we go. It says, give yourself credit. It takes courage to start over and reach for a better life. Many people never even try. Their fear, their insecurity, and lack of belief in their personal power hold them hostage, sometimes forever. Acknowledge, thank, and appreciate yourself for being brave enough to try. At every step along the way, give yourself love support and recognition and that is by Cynthia Oselli I think is how you say her name what a beautiful quote and I leave you with that and give yourself the recognition that you deserve every step along the way you don't have to take big steps because small steps turn into big steps. And those all can be leaps of faith. So with that, I encourage you guys to get out there and pursue whatever you're passionate about. 
and uh, I hope you guys have a great evening. Um, it's Wednesday evening here. I'm going to publish this, uh, post this video here tonight. And thanks for watching. I really do appreciate it. Um, please, again, give me a thumbs up. Click that subscribe button. Turn on your notifications. And uh, there'll be a link in the, the description of this, vi uh, this uh, video. If you'd like to support my channel, the Patreon link is there. Uh, you can be one of the first subscribers uh, to that. I'll be posting some content in there. And as well, uh, you can follow me on Instagram. That's where I'm most, I'm most active on Instagram. I post every day in the stories. Uh, you can connect with me on there. So yeah, you guys have a beautiful night. And until next time, bye.